Well, God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Uh, it, is, it is a glorious day. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad therein. Now, if you where I'm from now, it's been a lot of ice storms going on, but that's okay, baby. We're still Radu Shaka in the land of the living. So we want to give God the praise for that. This is day this is 30 days with Jesus. Day number 27 and 28. I want to share with you real quick in the word of the Lord in Luke chapter 4. My God. Luke chapter 4 and around verse number 1. I'm going to start reading something for you real quick. And I want to show you something. I want to show you how to combat and defeat the enemy. I want to show you that when you're under attack, don't attack uh, the, a spirit. Don't attack the devil, the enemy. We're trying to curse him out. Don't uh, attack him with a bride. Uh, you can't write him a check. You can't curse him out. You can't distract him. But something more important. Well, why are you messing with me? Go around to somebody more. No, you got to attack the enemy with the word of the Lord. I want to show you something right now in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4 and around verse number 1. It says this. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the spirit into the wilderness. He was led by the spirit into the wilderness. Listen, the spirit led him there. The spirit of God oftentimes may lead you into a wilderness situation. And you didn't get there by accident. You didn't get there because you made a wrong turn. You didn't get there because you're out of the will of God. You didn't get there. You may be in a wilderness in your um, job. Perhaps you may be in a wilderness right now in your marriage. You may be in a wilderness right now in your mind, your finances, your health. Glory to God. Glory to God. You may be in a wilderness situation right now. But just because you're there doesn't mean that you're out of the will of God. The Bible says that Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness and being 40 days tempted of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing and when they were ended he afterward hungered one of the keys i do believe now into feeding the enemy is a good fasting life that's something that something that we have not um experienced or implemented in our in our walk with god is that we're gonna have to get together a good fasting life the way we put our plate down how to call la bashi rado show and we have to do this, um, glory to God, get a routine. Hallelujah. We can't do it once a year. I don't believe we can do it once every three or four or five years. But I think, especially if you're a person that's struggling with habits and addictions, especially if you're a person struggling with self-control, perhaps you may have some addiction. Perhaps you may have an alcoholic addiction. You may have a, a drug addiction. You may have a uh, uh, a sexual addiction. Some of you may have a pornography addiction. Some of you may have an addiction to food or overeating. Some of you may be addicted to uh, glory to God, pain or the past. You may be addicted to people. You may be addicted to uh, abusive relationships. Um, you may be addicted to folks who uh, treat you wrong. Um, you may be addicted to the whole. You may be addicted to arrogance. You may be addicted to being boastful. You may be addicted to pride. You may be addicted to Baha to religious um, or legalism or the law, or you may be addicted to uh, judging folks. You may be addicted to all of them. You may be addicted to church. And what I mean by that is going to church, but not necessarily um, letting the church be in you or letting the spirit of God be in you. You just, you just, you just like to go to church. <laughs> you don't go to serve the Lord. You don't go to worship the Lord. You don't go to um, glory to God to get anything out of the service. You just like going. There's a whole lot of addictions out there. But one of the things I do believe that com that will combat addictions is, is a consistent fasting life. We got to get back into fasting. The Bible says Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights. I'm not telling you to fast that long. Hallelujah. <laughs> Only knew how, you know how much you can bear. But Jesus had fasted. He was led by the Spirit. He was fasting. And watch this. And the devil said unto him, if thou be the Son of God. Command this stone to be made bread. One of the temptations of the enemy is he wants you to prove yourself and who you are. You ain't got to prove yourself to the enemy. Neither do you have to prove yourself to other people. And Jesus answered him saying, if it's written, then that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Now watch this now. Now watch this. Now watch what Jesus told him. Jesus combated him with the word. <laughs> 
If you're under attack right now, put the word on it. Jesus said, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, by every, by every word of God. Hallelujah. So you got to understand, so if the enemy is attacking you, and he's attacking your um, health, you should be like it is written. Glory to God. That he is Jehovah. Go by Boko Badi Amasha. Rafa. My God. <laughs> it is written, He is a Lord that healeth thee. It is written that He's given us uh, uh, power to heal all manner of sickness and disease. And these signs shall follow them that believe. They should lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You should be like it is written that if any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church. And they should come in anointing with oil. And the prayer of faith shall serve to save the sick. And if he's committed any sins, they shall be forgiven him. You got to understand what is written. But you only you can only know what is written unless you've been in the word of God. I do shako by the yama. Let me show you something else. And the Bible says, And the devil taketh him up into a high mountain and showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, If all this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for th for that is delivered unto me, and whosoever I will give it, if thou sh shalt worship me, and it all and it all shall be thine. It is interesting enough that there's a lot of people out here right now that have sold their souls for this thing. They have sold their souls for fame and fortune. Now, I'm not saying if you got fame and fortune, and everyone has fame and fortune and sold their souls. But I'm saying there are some people out here that have sold their souls for fame and fortune. I do call Baba because they think that this life is it? <laughs> but Jesus said and answered unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it's written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. It is written again. He com Jesus combated him with the word again. Because when Jesus said it is written, that means it's somewhere that it is written. You gotta understand when 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 Jesus walked the earth, the New Testament wasn't um, written yet. And when the disciples uh, were preaching and teaching, a lot of that other New Testament was not written yet. The word that they had was, they was going off the Old Testament. Shako body. The Old Testament was enough to combat the enemy. The Old Testament was enough to get them saved. The Old Testament was enough to preach the gospel from. <laughs> Glory to God. He says, and, and, and it's interesting enough, the Bible says this, um, what profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? So you got to understand something that there are a lot of people out here that have sold. That's when I said they have sold their souls. I wasn't playing what I was saying. There's a lot of people out here that have sold their souls. They have given in and compromised to receive fame. And for, what would you give in exchange for your soul? Because there's another day coming besides this day. There's another judgment coming besides this day right here. This life ain't it. And don't tell me you don't believe that. Because the people who sold their souls, they believed it. <laughs> they believe it so much that they decided we're going to give in right now and glory to God. But right now in Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Rado Shokolaba. What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Hallelujah. Uh uh. No, I'd rather have the Lord, baby. Global shot. If it's going to cost me my soul, if it's going to cost me my soul, I'd rather have Jesus. Let me tell you something else. Uh, let me tell you something else the Bible says. It says, And then he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, Cast thyself down from hence. For it's written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. In their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Oh my God. It's like a man that sees a tornado coming and says, I'm gonna I'm getting ready to walk straight through this tornado, all because I know the Lord wanna keep me. It's like a man who can't swim and say, I'm about to jump in this water. I'm about to jump in this ocean. And I ain't going to drown because I know the Lord is going to help me. It's like a man, it, you can't do that kind of stuff. <laughs>